Chapter 4, Lesson 5, Use Equivalent Ratios. Our learning objective is that you will use tables to solve problems involving equivalent ratios. In warm weather, the Anderson family likes to spend time on the family's boat. The boat uses two gallons of gas to travel 12 miles on the lake. How much gas would the boat use to travel 48 miles? What are you asked to find? What we're asked to find is the number of gallons the boat will use to travel 48 miles. Okay, so that we get that from the question, how much gas would the boat use to travel? So we're going to solve the problem by finding equivalent ratios. So we're going to let that gray box represent the unknown number of gallons. So here it has gallons over miles, which is 2 to 12, equals blank gallons over 48 miles because we're going to want to know how much gas it would take to, to travel the 48 miles if it takes two gallons for every 12 miles. So we're going to make a table of equi equivalent ratios. So on the top we have 2 times 2 which is 4, 3 times 2 which is 6, and 4 times 2 which is 8. To fill in the bottom, we have the original ratio of 12, so we're going to take 2 times 12 for the next one, which is 24, 3 times 12, which is 36, and then 4 times 12, which is 48. So then the ratios 2 to 12 and 8 to 48 are equivalent ratios because they are all in that table. And we wanted to pay attention to 8 to 48 because we're talking about the 48 miles. So 2 to 12 is equivalent to 8 to 48. So the boat will use 8 gallons of gas to travel 48 miles. What if the boat uses 14 gallons of gas? Explain how you can use equivalent ratios to find the number of miles the boat travels when it uses 14 miles or 14 gallons of gas. So we would have to multiply the numerator and denominator. of the ratio. Two to twelve by seven, and that would be to get the equivalent ratio fourteen to eighty four. So the boat can travel. eighty four miles on fourteen gallons of gas. Okay, so if the boat uses fourteen gallons of gas, we just need to get that numerator to be fourteen. So we take that original ratio of two to twelve. I have to get from twelve to fourteen so I know that I multiply by seven which means I have to take the 12 and multiply it by 7 also to get me 84, um, which tells me 84 miles on the 14 gallons of gas. Looking at the example, it says use equivalent ratios to find the unknown value. So we have 3 to 4 equals what to 20? Okay, so we're going to think, um, we're going to use the common denominator to write equivalent ratios. So I know that 20 
is a multiple of 4. So 20 is a common denominator because 20 and 4 are my denominators. So if I multiply the numerator and denominator by 5 to write the ratios using a common denominator. So I'm just trying to get this ratio to have the same denominator as the unknown ratio. So if I take 4 times 5, it's going to equal 20. And 3, I have to do the same thing to the numerator, denominator, take that by 5 also. 3 times 5 is 15. So I now have 15 twentieths equals blank twentieths, which means now the denominators are the same. So the numerators are equal to each other. There's no other number that I can put in right here other than 15 to make these two ratios equivalent. So the unknown value is 15 and 3 fourths equals 15 twentieths or 3 to 4 equals 15 to 20. So we can check our answer down here by making a table of equivalent ratios. So when we look at this, we're just going to fill out that table like normal. So if our original ratio is 3 to 4, we're going to take 2 times 3 for 6, 3 times 3, which is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, and 5 times 3 is 15. Same thing at the bottom. Our original ratio is 3 to 4. So we're going to take 2 times 4, which is 8, 3 times 4, which is 12, 4 times 4, which is 16, and 5 times 4, which is 20. Again, when we get the 20, we see that the top part of that ratio is going to be 15. Looking at B, we have 56 to 42 equals 8 to something. There we go. Okay, so we have 54 or 56 to 42 equals 8 to something. We're going to write an equivalent ratio with 8 in the numerator, okay, because that's what is given. We have to have that. So we have 56 and 8 as numerators. So we need to divide 56 by something to get 8, and that would be 7. So now we need to divide the denominator by the same thing as well. If you do it to one, you got to do it to both. So we're going to divide it by 7 as well. And 42 divided by 7 gives us 6. And now the numerators are the same. So the denominators are equal to each other. Okay, so if our numerators are now the same, the denominators are equal, which means <clears throat> that the unknown value is 6, and 56 to 42 equals 8 to 6. We can check our answer again by making a table of equivalent ratios. Our original ratio is 8 to 6, so we're going to do 2 times 8, which is 16, 3 times 8, which is 24, 4 times 8, which is 32, 5 times 8, which is 40, 6 times 8, which is 48, and 7 times 8, which is 56, and now we can stop. And then on the bottom, we have the original ratio with a 6, so we're going to take 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 6 is 24, 5 times 6 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36, and 7 times 6 is 42, proving yet again that if we have a numerator of 56, 42 is going to be our denominator. If you have any questions over this lesson, please ask your teacher. Again, our objective 
was that you will use tables to solve problems involving equivalent ratios.